Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and iOS 17 brings many new features and changes, and some of those features are specific to AirPods, so I thought we'd go over every new AirPod feature available in iOS 17. Now, certain AirPods only support some of the different features, so we'll cover that in a moment, but if you're testing earlier versions of iOS 17 on the beta, whether you're a developer or a public beta tester, you can test the new features of AirPods, but the AirPods will need to be updated as well to the latest beta firmware. In order to do that, and I would not recommend this for most people, you'll need to actually have a computer, a Mac specifically, with Xcode on it. Once you've installed Xcode, you'll need to go in and enable a new developer mode that's on your iPhone. First, you want to go to your settings, then go down to privacy and security, and typically to get the other menu to show up, you'll first need to turn on developer mode at the bottom. Go into developer mode, turn it on, it will ask you to reboot the phone. Once you do that, and you're connected to a Mac, if you scroll down in your settings, you should see a new menu option for developer. Once you have this option, go into developer, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll see it says pre-release beta firmware for AirPods testing. And once you're in that menu, you'll see you'll have an option for pre-release beta program, and you can see all of the different options we have here. Once you enable that, what it will do is just update on its own once you plug in your AirPods typically, or sometimes they'll just update altogether by themselves. But just like you typically update AirPods, that's how they'll update here. Once you have the latest firmware, and we'll go back and check that, if we go up into our AirPods here, just connect them and you can check the firmware quickly. So we'll go into that, give it just a second to connect, then we'll go into the menu, and within that menu, if we scroll to the bottom, you can see the current version of 6A238H. That's the current firmware update that you'll need to actually see these new features. Now, as far as the first new feature that covers all of the different AirPods here, from AirPods second and third generation, AirPods Pro first and second generation, and AirPods Max, is automatic switching. Between your iPhone and iPad, or your Mac and your iPhone, it seems to be very, very fast. Now, currently I only have my AirPods Pro 2 updated, so let me go ahead and show you how quick it is. So I'll place them in my ears, and then I have a Mac in front of me here that I'll play some music on then I'll quickly switch over to playing something on the iPhone. So it's currently playing music in my right ear. If I go to my iPhone, tap on my video here, it immediately switches, you can see here, and now I can hear my video on YouTube. So it's instant switching now, and they've seemed to improve this greatly with iOS 17. Another new feature that covers all of the different AirPods here has to do with muting a call. This is a great new feature that you can see by going into your iPhone, going into your settings, and then going to your AirPods settings. Scroll down, and you'll see call controls here. We now have mute and unmute. So what that means is we can press the stem once to mute it or unmute it. We can also set it to press twice. If we're on a phone call, we simply click it and it will mute that phone call. So if we go in and maybe place a phone call, and we'll just go ahead and call Apple, and I have an AirPod in my right ear, we'll give it a second to connect, and we should see it mute here if it works. So I'll press the stem and it immediately mutes. All that is is a single press on the stem of the AirPod. Again, if I press it again, it will unmute. So that's a great feature that's been added. Super simple, something it probably should have had before. Also, it's not just that button on the AirPods Max. On the AirPods Max, you'll press the digital crown to achieve the same muting feature. But basically, we have the same feature across everything, which is nice. With iOS 17, they've added the options for some iPhones to now just be able to say the word Siri to activate the voice assistant, instead of having to say the word Hey in front of it. This is first an option within settings, and then if you scroll down to Siri and search, you'll see at the top it says listen for. If we go into listen for, we have the option for Siri, or then the word Siri with the word hey in front of it, or the old way, or we could turn that off altogether. You can now do this on AirPods Pro 2 only. So for whatever reason, you'll need AirPods Pro 2, it seems, to use that at the current time. Maybe the chipset in the AirPods Max isn't the same, so it could stay alive and listen to that keyword. But currently, this is only available for AirPods. So if I say the word Siri, Siri, what's the weather today? 
And so you'll see that just activate simply by saying that word now. Now, one of the bigger features with iOS 17 and AirPods has to do with AirPods Pro 2 again. Unfortunately, they're not covering the rest of the AirPods, not even AirPods Max for these next features. So the first one has to do with something called adaptive audio. If we go into our settings and then again into our AirPods settings, you may have already noticed some of these options here. We have noise control and it says off, transparency, adaptive, or noise cancellation. Adaptive is a new mode that combines transparency and noise cancellation and changes throughout the day as you're moving between environments and different interactions according to Apple. So it will learn what you're doing and sort of adapt based on the overall experience you're having where you're at. If it's a noisy environment, it may bring down the overall sound, the overall noise cancellation. If there's some areas where maybe it thinks you need to hear, it will allow you to hear that. Of course, you could just switch these back to whatever you'd like. You can also access these modes in your AirPods here. So if you have your AirPods connected, let me just put one in my ear here quickly. There you go. Press and hold in the control center. You'll see that it's here as well. To go along with this, we also have something called conversational awareness. And this is the same sort of thing where if you have this enabled, it will listen if there's someone speaking nearby and boost that conversation so you can actually hear what they're saying and reduce background noise and also maybe volume of music you're listening to. Then when someone else stops speaking, all of that will go back to normal as maybe you're not listening to someone talk anymore and you want to go on about your way and maybe listen to music. It will do it all automatically directly on the phone. Of course, again, you could turn that on and off, but again, all of those features are available on AirPods Pro 2. In addition to what I've already mentioned, there's also a new personalized volume feature. It uses machine learning to fine tune media and everything else you're doing throughout the day based on the environment around you. So it sort of goes along with adaptive audio, but this time it has to do with volume. So maybe if you're at work, you're using your AirPods to take a lot of phone calls and you have your volume set to a specific volume, say 25%. When you get home, maybe you put your AirPods in and you set it to 50%. It will learn this over time as you use it and then automatically adjust it to the volumes you typically use based on where you're at. So that's a new feature, again, specific to AirPods Pro 2. Now, hopefully in the future, more AirPods or maybe even older AirPods will get some of these features, but it looks like most of them are just for the chipset that's in the AirPods Pro 2, and they're not even bringing it to AirPods Max. So to get the most benefit out of iOS 17 and AirPods, you'll need AirPods Pro 2. I think the big disappointment for me is that they're not covering AirPods Max, which are more expensive, almost double the price as far as the cost of AirPods Pro 2 is concerned. So I would love to see them bring more of these features to the different AirPods, maybe AirPods Pro 1, but at least we get a few of them on the older AirPods, but you'll need AirPods Pro 2 for all of those features, and I'm sure any future AirPods, AirPods 4, AirPods Pro 3, hopefully AirPods Max second generation. But I'm a bit disappointed they're not bringing them to the current version. Now, if you're a beta tester or developer and you want to try these updates, they're available now as far as a developer. Later, it should be available to a beta tester. However, the features on the AirPod firmware will require you to be a developer. However, as far as the final release or the public release, when you can try this out, if you're not a developer, that will be available later this year, typically around September. Apple normally releases a new iPhone in mid-September, and usually about a week or so before that, they release the next version of iOS. So we can expect that along with all of the iOS features, AirPods features, and more around that time frame. So if you're waiting for that, it will be a few more months, and then you'll have all of the features I mentioned already. Let me know your thoughts on Apple only including some of the different features for AirPods Pro 2 in the comments below. And of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe, and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.